Episode 9, Fueling a Freer Future. Defending fossil fuels is one of the hardest positions to take in modern discourse, but it is a necessary one in a time when ideologues advocate for creeping authoritarianism in our daily lives without considering the real consequences of their ideas. We must shift the conversation away from climate hysteria and toward human flourishing. So what does a pro-human energy program look like? First, we must recognize that the true threat to civilization is a lack of reliable energy, not its production. Ideology masquerading as science has resulted in decades of red tape and regulation leading to massive investments in solar panels, windmills, and other energy sources that have proven to be unreliable. The construction of oil and gas refineries and the production of other infrastructure necessary to grow energy production requires a tremendous amount of capital and time. So long as the shadow of major regulatory uncertainty and privileges for so-called green energy looms over the energy sector, we will not see the improvements necessary to better utilize our reliable energy resources. We shouldn't simply rely on traditional energy sources, however. Nuclear is an incredible energy source with the capacity to provide clean and reliable energy at a low cost. It is a truly viable alternative to fossil fuels. Unfortunately, fear campaigns have built a labyrinth of red tape around nuclear too, effectively criminalizing nuclear power development. This has made the nuclear power that is produced more expensive. Allowing a market in nuclear power to flourish could achieve the energy revolution so many allegedly desire, without sacrificing human thriving. Responsible civilizations seek serious solutions to the problems they face. Instead, the modern-day environmentalist movements have created death cults that have traumatized new generations. A 2020 survey found that 71% of U.S. millennials and 67% of Generation Z feel climate change has negatively affected their mental health. This is the direct result of the teachings of corrupted institutions, with a long record of promoting false alarmism to gain political control. The battle for liberty rarely enjoys such institutional support. Telling the truth is often lonely and unpopular. But we all suffer the consequences of living in a society guided by lies and propaganda. In the words of Ludwig von Mises, the heroic Austrian economist, everyone carries a part of society on his shoulders. No one is relieved of his share of responsibility by others. And no one can find a safe way for himself if society is sweeping towards destruction. Therefore, everyone in his own interests must thrust himself vigorously into the intellectual battle. No one can stand aside with unconcern. The interests of everyone hang on the result. Whether he chooses or not, every man is drawn into the great historical struggle, the decisive battle into which our epic has plunged us.